We live in the world where there are a lot of dangers. Only really safe place is inside the mind. But for most of us, we look inside our mind. That's not very safe either because it's been gathering up all kinds of garbage from the world outside. So we have to clean it out. When you breathe in, think of the breath sweeping through the body, getting rid of the tension and tightness that you may have picked up as you go through the day. And then as thoughts come in, you sweep those out as well. For the time being, whatever thought there is that's not related to the breath, just let it go, let it go. It's not what you want right now. You want a sense of stability and well-being inside. And voices will come up in the mind and say, oh, I want to think about this, I want to think about that, and you have to say, nope, 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 this is a time to give the mind some time to be on its own. That's the only way you're going to get any refuge in this life, because you look around at what you got outside. There's gain and then there's loss. There's status and loss of status. There's praise and criticism, pleasure and pain. That's pretty much all the world has to offer. It dresses it up in different ways. So we think that we're getting new things, but it comes down to basically these eight. And you notice they come in pairs. And if you're not careful, you're going to get hit by both sides, the good side and the bad side. When the good side hits you, you start floating up. You forget yourself and get complacent. When the bad side hits you, you get really depressed. And so what you've got to learn how to do is find a refuge inside, because you can't take refuge in those things. You can, however, take refuge in the stillness of the mind, the clarity of the mind. Then you have to use your discernment to fight off the tendencies to want to go back to those old ways. So there's a little bit of a battle in here as you settle down, but the rewards are really great. At the very least, you can clear a little space for yourself inside. So no matter what comes your way, you've got a place where you can evade it. You don't have to get hit by everything that the world sends your way, or by everything that the mind sends up in response. You can step back and watch, not get involved. And if something comes up that you really do have to deal with, okay, you're coming from a position of strength. You're a quiet place inside, what a John Swat used to call the quiet corner. You're trying to maintain that quiet corner in your mind, because that's your refuge, that's your safety, both in the face of dangers outside and in dangers inside.